Hello viewers, welcome to my channel IITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish. And uh, as I was doing uh, book recommendation series uh, since last several Sundays, uh, I'm continuing with that series. And today I've brought uh, uh, part four of the series. That is my favorite books. And today I'm going to cover optics, modern physics and thermodynamics. And uh, before I begin, let me tell you that uh, most of the material in optics, modern physics and thermodynamics uh, in the advanced textbooks uh, that, that goes uh, uh, way beyond IITJ requirements or even for that matter uh, INPHO or IOQP requirements or even Olympiad requirements. Uh, nonetheless, uh, uh, I'll be mentioning the books and uh, uh, I'll also uh, in some places I also be telling the sections uh, which students might find uh, interesting uh, for reading. So uh, let me get into the presentation now. So the first book is uh, uh, Introduction to Optics by Pedroti and Pedroti and Pedroti. All three are, uh, looks like family members. Uh, this is a very nice book on optics. Uh, I especially uh, like from this the sections on uh, uh, diffraction, uh, polarization and interference. It also gives uh, almost everything, entire optics is covered, whatever is there in JE that's also covered, uh, but uh, it's covered in a very different way, including uh, the, uh, the uh, your telescope, microscope, entire theory is given. So if anybody is interested in getting into detail, uh, uh, they might uh, refer to this book. But let me tell you, uh, it, it's, it will not be generally a very wise idea for most students to get into that much detail. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, as I always say, teachers can it's uh, have this book in their library and time to time they can refer to it. And if they uh, like something, something very interesting they find, they can always present to students. Uh, especially, uh, I also like the section on Fresnel equations in this, in which it uh, derives the uh, formula for reflection and transmission of electromagnetic waves using uh, boundary conditions uh, at, uh, of uh, continuity of magnetic field and uh, uh, electric field at the boundary. So, uh, nice book. In fact, uh, I'm going to present uh, three similar books. Out of that, uh, I like this one the best. The other optics book is, uh, this is also a very nice book, uh, Ajay Ghatak's uh, Optics. Uh, professor Ajay Ghatak uh, is a professor in IIT Delhi and he is, this is a very classic, it's a classic textbook and it's also used as standard textbook in many Indian universities for uh, uh, your uh, uh, MSc courses. Again, uh, uh, a lot of uh, optics books generally they have initial chapters that are dedicated to waves and sound. Uh, waves on strings etc because uh, electromagnetic waves op optics is op obviously i mean uh, it's it deals with light which is nothing but electromagnetic radiation so uh, portion of it overlaps with the electrodynamics and uh, uh, em waves uh, type of things are there and of course uh, to get into waves you first uh, study about transverse and longitude transverse waves so a lot of it is there and then it also goes into geometrical optics, but the methods that are used uh, are like uh, some of the methods are uh, not relevant for JE, like matrix methods for calculating uh, the object, I mean image position, etc. using matrices. So, uh, but yes, uh, it's a nice book to have in your library, uh, Ajay Ghatak's Optics. Then uh, this is uh, again uh, my all-time favorite author, uh, I.V. Savelier. He was student of Erodos. And uh, he has uh, written a very class, nice classic textbooks. Uh, this is the second uh, volume uh, which deals with optics. Earlier I had also re recommended the same book for electricity and magnetism and it also has definitely a nice section on optics so you can uh, you can read it and uh, this book is generally not available. Uh, uh, for uh, buying a hard copy, but uh, its soft copy can be downloaded from the website mirtitles.org, M-I-R-T-I-T-L-E-S dot O-R-G. This is a very nice website as I told uh, in earlier video also. A uh, lot of uh, good books by Mir, publica Mir publishers available, including uh, chemistry and uh, uh, mathematics also. So those uh, titles which are out of print because Mir publishers is closed, those can be downloaded there. It's a nice site to visit and this book is definitely worth having in your library. Savelyev's uh, book for optics. Then this is another uh, nice and very popular book used in many Indian universities. Uh, this is by Eugene Hecht and I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, Eugene Hecht and uh, 
uh, ar ganeshan is uh, an, uh, earlier it was only by hecht and i think ganeshan is now uh, added as a co author and might have uh, uh, added things considering the indian curriculum so i have seen the curriculum uh, the syllabus given in this uh, again as i told you it's uh, very similar to what was done in uh, ghatak and uh, pedroti uh, again very popular book you might like to go through this one also then uh, this one is uh, my favorite uh, this is my go to book whenever i have any doubt in modern physics this is the book that i refer to most often this is uh, modern physics by survey moyer and uh, moses uh, everything is there whatever is in je syllabus that's there in this and plus much more so if you find something that is troubling you uh, and you want to have a deeper understanding maybe de broglie waves or i mean supposed to be de broglie waves but <laughs> okay it's fine so de broglie waves or uh, thomson's uh, uh, model or how he discovered electron or all those things they are given in lot of detail and the good thing about it is it's not very mathematical uh, because generally uh, i mean we should distinguish between modern physics and quantum mechanics in general quantum mechanics uh, books become very very mathematical and uh, uh, many times uh, become overwhelming for most students because first before accessing those books you have to learn a lot of uh, uh, quantum mechanics type of mathematics things Uh, but uh, this book has got lot of language and uh, it is uh, relatively uh, easy to understand and uh, i'm sure uh, it will be a great addition to your library uh, survey moses and moyers uh, modern physics then this is also a very nice book this is uh, modern physics by crane and a very nice illust nicely illustrated uh, almost similar i mean the look and feel of this book is almost similar to survey and moyer but Uh, my preference is uh, for survey and moyer but nonetheless this is also a great book a uh, lot of things are given in lot of detail so you might like to uh, have a look at this book also then uh, the next book uh, this was our textbook uh, earlier the author was only arthur bizer and now two more authors have uh, joined in the two more co-authors shobhit mahajan and uh, rai choudhury Uh, this was our textbook uh, when i was uh, in iit uh, this was our uh, textbook for modern physics course and uh, it's got a very nice theory i studied from this uh, especially your uh, uh, davison and germer experiment that's uh, given in a lot of detail uh, very nicely i referred i remember remember having referred this for that and apart from that also everything is given whatever is there in je syllabus everything is covered in lot of detail so nice book arthur bizer's modern physics along with shobhit mahajan and s rai choudhury then uh, most of this book is beyond uh, what is there in je because this whole book it's a very thick book uh, considering that it it's only covering nuclear physics so lot of details are given including uh, functioning of reactors also that's discussed uh, plenty of detail uh, particle interactions also is, uh, is given but and uh, uh, why some nucleus will be stable why some nucleus will not be stable what are the factors affecting stability of nuclei spin pairing etc so lot of details about nuclear physics uh, are given in this book and uh, you might like to see refer to it when you have any doubt uh, on nuclear physics then uh, once again this is the third book by savelyev that i am recommending earlier i had also recommended for uh, electricity i had also recommended savelyev from mechanics and now i am recommending savelyev also for modern physics so this is the third volume which is uh, almost entirely uh, modern physics quantum optics uh, atomic physics solid state physics physics of the atom atomic nucleus and elementary particles so everything is given and uh, savelyev has a very nice way of writing the book very lucid language he writes so you'll like this book also then uh, this one is a problem book and uh, the uh, there's one very popular problem book by i e rudo which almost all students possess this is a different book this only focuses on atomic and nuclear physics and it's got uh, nice problems for practice Uh, so students uh, or maybe teachers can select some problems for uh, giving to students from this book also uh, nice problem book on uh, modern physics then uh, this book also is very nice i referred to it for 
understanding Planck's radiation law that is given uh, nicely in this and uh, also derivation re uh, regarding Rutherford model uh, that is given in appendix if I remember correctly. Uh, uh, if, if also I think it also has a chapter on relativity and if somebody wants to uh, learn the mathematics uh, uh, of uh, Modern physics. This is a very mathematical kind of book. Uh, I mean, gives lot of rigorous derivations. It's a very old book. I think it must be from 80s. And uh, uh, nice book. I like this book also. Then uh, this is another book by Resnick Halliday. Uh, this is different from the one which is very popular book by Resnick Halliday. That's on general physics. This is. Relativity, uh, Basic Concepts in Relativity and Earlier Quantum Theory by Resnick Halliday. Again, a very old book. Uh, uh, I uh, studied especially the section on uh, Rutherford scattering from this, why the uh, number of particles uh, scattered or the average angle through which the particles are scattered would be proportional to th uh, thickness to the power 1 for uh, your Thomson model and uh, why it should be proportional to square root of the thickness for the uh, uh, your uh, Rutherford model. So that part uh, mm -hmm. uh, Rutherford scattering again given nicely in this and there are also lot of other things but that was the section for which I refer to it and nicely written book again. Uh, basic concepts in relativity earlier quantum theory by Resnick and Halliday. Then uh, uh, for heat transfer uh, I have seen so many books but uh, this is the best book for heat and mass transfer. Especially if you want to learn about the radiation and uh, uh, shape factors, how the radiation is uh, transported between let us say two rectangular sheets, how uh, what percentage of heat will fall from one sheet to the other and all those things, shape factor, view factors and uh, calculation uh, of radiation in various geometries when something is a black body, when something is a grey body, when uh, it is a uh, grey body giving out heat to another grey body, multiple reflections happening. So all kinds of complicated cases, they are analyzed very well, standard theory is presented uh, very nicely in this for radiation and also for uh, heat conduction. Uh, heat conduction, the J theory is very simple mostly because we have only one dimensional steady state heat conduction. But if you want some insight into unsteady state uh, heat conduction as well as three dimensional heat uh, conduction equations, uh, that is also given very nicely. And also convection is given but convection will not be of interest to most uh, physics people because uh, it is very complicated and mostly it is done by looking at various tables finding just like you find uh, whether flow is turbulent or uh, 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 streamlined using Reynolds number like that. Lot of heuristics kinds of approach is used for uh, uh, convection. But yes, for uh, uh, understanding your conduction and uh, radiation, this is excellent book. And uh, I will compare this with another book that was the textbook for my mechanical engineering course in Cropera and Devitt. This is again a nice book, I would say. Uh, almost uh, very similar to the previous book by uh, Senjil and Bowles, not Senjil and Bowles, it was Senjil and Gajir. Uh, I hope I am pronouncing his name uh, properly, probably Iranian names, Yunus A. Senjil and Afshin J. Gajir probably, Gajir maybe. And uh, this book in proper end of it is uh, very similar, uh, but uh, definitely uh, the I, I would recommend uh, Senjil's book. Uh, that Sanjil has uh, more lucid language and I uh, somehow like Sanjil more than this. Uh, this is also a very nice book and uh, there is another book which I have not included in my list that is uh, Heat Transfer by J.P. Holman. That was also one of our recommended textbooks in BTEC and uh, I have seen many people from uh, uh, engineering services uh, uh, field they recommend uh, J.P. Holman's book also. Uh, but. Uh, I don't remember much uh, from J.P. Holman but uh, all I can say is that is also a nice book. Then uh, uh, for thermodynamics again uh, uh, as far as J is considered uh, concerned uh, you don't need lot of standard theory but still if you want a little advanced theory like uh, uh, how to handle compressible flows or uh, uh, something called concept of uh, flow work or exergy or uh, even uh, dealing with compressible uh, fluids, uh, temperature, pressure, volume diagrams for uh, uh, real gases, van der Waal gases or real gases, those things they are explained, phase trans transitions, 
those things are explained very nicely and there are also something called concept of exergy and second law those things are there but uh, uh, for uh, je people they might like to uh, study about the thermodynamics of unsteady flows and uh, flow work and uh, compressible flows those things you might like from this uh, senjel and bols uh, excellent book uh, our textbook was i'll also tell you the textbook that we followed in uh, rp tech i didn't like that book very much that's also there that's uh, van wylen and sontag uh, engineering thermodynamics i think that's the title and the worst part was that <laughs> that book was in uh, uh, british units uh, i'm sure now they must have brought uh, si units edition but this book is definitely much more readable very nice illustrations this is definitely a better book than van wylen and sontag then uh, again uh, another classic by meer publishers molecular physics by an matviev i had also recommended one book by matviev for electrodynamics this is also very nice book uh, very nicely discusses uh, the concepts of uh, uh, entropy statistical mechanics those things are there and also phase transitions uh, nice book worth uh, looking at molecular physics by an matviev again you can download this from meertitles.org Uh, not available in physical print then yeah uh, this book uh, was very intriguing i found this book to be very very interesting i tried working out through first few chapters and uh, uh, i it, it's very nice uh, uh, approach people with mathematical mind uh, those people who like permutations and combinations they'll definitely love this book it uh, initial few chapters are how uh, entropy can be calculated using permutations and combinations and uh, uh, you will get a lot of insight uh, into entropy especially from this book and uh, uh, it it looks like i mean um, uh, like recreational maths people who like recreational maths they are going to love the problems from this book and very hands on kind of book it gives uh, models of solids and uh, Uh, how specific heats of solids can be modeled correctly using uh, physics and uh, a pretty interesting book uh, some people uh, like this book very much and there are other people who hate this book very much for the same reason because it has a very mathematical kind of approach but uh, uh, students who enjoy permutations and combinations they are going to love this book uh, for its statistical approach to uh, thermo thermodynamics or thermal physics you can say then uh, uh, this is another very popular book uh, thermal physics by blundell very much readable all laws of thermodynamics they are nicely covered in this and uh, uh, in the end the last book that is there in my video that is uh, herbert callen thermodynamics and thermostatistics uh, thermostatic statistics i have made a spelling mistake please uh, bear with me thermostatistics it should be uh, instead of that i have written thermostatics uh, now many people who write uh, uh, civil services exam by taking physics as a subject they refer to this book in fact this book was recommended to me by one of my friends uh, ravi prakash balwada uh, he is he, he used it while his preparing for civil services and uh, Uh, nice book but then again uh, nowhere related to je it's all about uh, statistical mechanics so that was my list of uh, favorite books on uh, optics modern physics and thermodynamics and uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, viewing this uh, list of mine and if you like my presentation please do give it a thumbs up and please share this video as much as possible Uh, through various whatsapp groups telegram groups discord servers or whatever uh, medium you use for collaborating with the fellow students preparing for je or olympiads and most importantly if you have not already if you have not already subscribed to my channel please 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 do subscribe to my channel immediately because that is what keeps me motivated to bring out a new video every day and uh, thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always God bless you all. Thank you.